It was certainly not the picture-perfect moment they expected when Riley O'Keefe and Zoe Iannone, both freshmen at Bardham Trail High School in St. Johns County, Florida, opened their brand new yearbook, they immediately noticed something was off, or rather added on. Their photos had been edited to cover their chests. Initial reaction is to be surprised and shocked, and then as it goes on, you just feel like gross and like embarrassed and very objectified. And as the girls kept flipping through the pages, they realized they were not alone. I got very upset and I was very uncomfortable that that's how they were looking at our photos. Uh, immediately, I my blood started to boil. In all, at least 80 photos were edited. All female students deemed to be in dress code violation after the pictures were taken. For these families, it's not just that the pictures were edited, but how. Here's Riley and Zoe before and after. Basically, now their body parts are of additional focus and attention that never would have been there in the first place if the school hadn't called attention to them. They felt like they'd done something wrong. It felt like their bodies were being shamed and they were embarrassed. These parents say they were later told it was modesty editing. NBC News has reached out to the school and the district with no response. But we are told the school is offering refunds to families upset by the decision. Now, students and their parents are demanding a formal apology for what they call a dress code double standard. When the school goes and edits out my cleavage in a photo, but decides that a swim team photo is okay in Speedos, just sends the message that my body is inappropriate, that my body is there's something wrong with it. The school website says all individual student pictures must be consistent with the St. Johns County School District Student Code of Conduct or may be digitally altered. That code of conduct bans any clothing that is immodest, revealing, or distracting in character. But these girls say their attire did not fit that bill. I think an apology is a huge thing that needs to happen. And I think in long term, the view of girls' bodies and young women's bodies and the dress code based on that needs to change. Well, NBC reached out to the yearbook teacher who does the editing but did not hear back. We're told that the quality of the editing is a product of being short staffed this year. Some of the parents tell local reporters that their children are being made fun of on social media and in yearbook comments. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.